This is a scrotal ultrasound of a 40 years old male in which you are seeing the test, right test is in longitudinal section along with the epidermis. Now this is the right test is in longitudinal section measuring 4.1 2.3 centimeters. This is the epidermis, this area, and it measures 14.8 millimeters by 5.5 millimeters. Now, rest all of this is fluid. This is all fluid in the right hemisphere. This black area is the fluid. And uh, this is the suprotal wall, and the wall is not thick. Now, you now see that uh, you you will see multiple shining areas, small, as for example, here is one this one and you will see multiple of these both in the epididymis as well as in the testicular parenchyma this is the epididymis this area and this is the shiny ecogenic area within it uh, and this is the testis now you see there are multiple you will see multiple marginal calcifications, shiny, shining particles. Yeah, this is the other one. These are these are marginal ones. These are at the margin of the testes. You see one more. Not only this, there are uh, internal calcification as well within the uh, parenchyma. Here you can see one, two, three. Now this is one. This is the second one. Here you can see third one. These are all marginal. The size varies. Uh, the largest of these measures uh, 3.7 millimeters, and it it's seen all over the testicular margin as well as now. This is a part of the epididymis in which you are seeing one, two, three, four, ten scores shining ecogenic areas. So this is the now this is a septa. This is a thick septa. It also contains an ecogenic particle uh, within it which is not shadowing. Very testicular ecogenicities are quite visible. And this is the transfer section of the testes. You can see multiple marginal calcifications. Yeah. Intra testicular. There are though, uh, no significant intratesticular. This is the transfer section of the right testis, surrounded by fluid all over. This is the transfer section. These are the ecogenicities. The ecogenicity of the testis is, is uh, showing coarseness with tiny 
hypopoic areas scattered within the parenchyma of the testes. This is all of you. This portal wall is not thick. Now the left testes. This is the left hemisuprotum. This is the left testis, the longitudinal section. Once again. <coughs> This is the, and there are uh, ecogenicities seen a few, and there are less in this uh, left hemisuprota. Ecogenicities are there. Fluid is present. Now, this is the longitudinal section of the left testis. This is the epididymis, and this is all fluid in the left hemisuprotum, and this is the scrotal wall which is not thick. This test is not showing any anomaly. Now this is the coronal section. I'm trying to get the coronal section for you. Now this is the coronal section in which it's quite obvious that uh, the main pathology lies in the right semisuprota, spares the left, <coughs> except fluid and a few epigenicities. Now this is the left hemisuprota. This is the testis. This is the right testis. Okay, now and this is the, these are the epigenicities. And now these ecogenicities, if you, there is some debris as well. If you see that uh, in the uh, left hemisuprota, in the right hemisuprota, we do see dependent region, low level echoes. This is dependent region, low level echoes. So we see separation, we see ecogenic particles, and uh, both in the epididymis as well as in the Testi peritesticular area and uh, there are almost all marginal with the septa containing multiple septations, thick septa with multiple septations. Here we are. So bilateral hydro seal with calcifications, low level debris, and uh, septas in the left hemisphere, in the right hemisphere. This is the case of the day. Thank you.